I really didn't even know that something was going on, that there was something wrong in my mind. I didn't know that. I just knew that I was in pain. On a physical level, it was, it was like the, you know, the, my brain, I, I could feel the back of my neck, you know, um, popping and sizzling, like my head was just heating up. Objects became animate, things became threatening. Um, I became very, very um, scared and frightened. And so the delusions were, were ones where I was, actually felt that I was a surgeon and um, that was one. And I, and I felt I had to, to literally extricate the demon from inside of my body. Um, and I would do that by cutting and burning myself. I didn't bathe or shower for months at a time. I was scratching my body. You know, I had inflicted wounds and sores on my face and in my scalp and in my, my arms. I had no idea what was happening. And my life was just shattering and I felt like I was dying. My mother, even though she had absolutely no understanding of what was going on with me. In fact, I was very frightened by her. I was frightened by her lipstick, by her nail polish, and thought she was a witch. I remember uh, when we had a huge uh, disagreement um, because I wore black socks. And to her, black socks were like, what woman wears black socks, you know? What daughter of mine wears black socks? There's something obviously wrong with you. I ended up um, being picked up by my mother in her car, um, and she drove me to a hospital in Westchester County, New York, called Four Winds Hospital. When I first met Sam, uh, who was to become my doctor, I was mute. I was... Uh, apparently curled up on the floor um, in the corner of his office. And so he looked at me and he said, you have paranoid schizophrenia. And the second word out of his mouth, the second sentence out of his mouth was, and you can recover. The relief that came over my face when I, when I heard that there was a name to what was going on with me, no one had ever, ever told me what was wrong with me, what was happening to me. That was the beginning of my turning point, my choosing life. I don't think of myself as a schizophrenic. I am Susan. I am an artist. I have brown hair. You know, I have brown eyes. I'm Susan. There are always issues and difficulties in human relationships between mother and child and my mother and myself. Um, but today we both wear black socks. <laughs>